Very often, companies and organizations bring me in for what they call management coaching. There's a big difference between leadership and management. Management is usually telling people what to do. Leadership is about inspiring people to do great things. What I do is I help leaders be successful by design and not by chance. It's about presentation skills, positive impact, leadership to get followers, and emotional awareness. In terms of presentation skills, it's about congruency. It's about being authentic. It's about showing up and being true to yourself. And when people want to present, oftentimes they think they need to have this official voice. The goal is to get rid of that and get people into what I call conversational tone. There's a, a very formal conversational tone and then there's a more informal conversational tone. So it's, it's finding the right balance for the public you're dealing with. Also what makes a great presenter is knowing where you're going. And even when you don't know where you're going, it's giving the impression that it's safe to go on the voyage with you. The presentation skills leads me naturally into how I work with people on impact. What kind of impact are they making? And we're constantly sending signals about ourselves verbally or non-verbally. And then companies and organizations bring me in to work with people on leadership. So to be a great leader, you have to understand management. Management's about telling people what to do. And there's telling people and telling people. So it's about giving direction, delegating, following up, asking how people are doing, giving out tasks. The problem is that people think that management and leadership are the same and they do too much telling. But one of the questions I ask leaders when I have them in front of me is, how much effort do most of your people put in most of the time? What I hear is most people put in about 75% of their effort across the board. I'm interested in the difference between the 75 and the 100% because this is what I call discretionary effort. And when people step into discretionary effort, they're not only doing their job because they have to, they're walking the extra mile. You also need to know when you need to coach your people, which is simply asking them a great set of questions that allows them to develop themselves. We also need to have training skills because sometimes your people just don't have the skill to do it. So the important thing is to understand when they need the skills and to give them the skills. And then after that, you can go back to empower, inspire, tell, or delegate. And then the other thing that's very important as a leader is to know when you need to mentor your people, open doors for them, when you need to share successes, tell them how they can be better, introduce them to people, give them internal and external benchmarks. The sixth skill of great leaders from my perspective is that they also have a bit of a consultant inside them. As the leader consultant, you're available to challenge people, to bring in benchmarks, to bring in information. The magic of the leader is knowing when you need to tell, when you need to ask, when you need to instruct, when you need to mentor, and when you need to consult. The last and final piece I work on with people is emotional awareness. A couple of very important things around emotional awareness which help people is simply asking yourselves a series of questions. Who am I now? How does who I am right now impact me? And then ask people to take a step back and see, am I getting the results I want? And if you are getting the results you want, then the great news is, what do you need to do to keep those results ongoing? The key challenge is when you're not getting the results you want and when the emotion's coming, how do you take a step back to ask yourself, what do I need to stop, start, or continue to potentially get a better reaction from the people I'm working with? At the senior level, a lot of the leadership coaching and training takes place in English. So I've made it a priority to be able to deliver in French, Spanish, and German as well, because when you can do that, you can speak the language of the client, the connection's even better, and the breakthroughs are even bigger. When leaders embark on this journey, they have self-awareness, and they have a potential for transformation about themselves. And they also have the opportunity to lead people to get them to follow and be happy about doing that. And so the transformation is huge. And what it does at the end of the day is it helps organizations, leaders, and companies achieve higher levels of results sustainably and then keep them at that level over time.